to my welcome. Today I'm going to be looking at making a Raspberry Blitz. I've been wanting to do this tutorial for a while. Uh, I was at the original Lightning Hack Day and I kind of saw that the Blitz project uh, born and how popular and successful it came. And um, I've been really wanting to, to, to do a tutorial on it, but I'd already set up a Blitz and it was working fine and I was kind of waiting for that to break. I knew that I would eventually break it by messing around with it too much and I did eventually break it, which kind of sucks, but it also gave me the opportunity then to show, uh, to do a tutorial on how to install a Blitz, how to make a, a, a Raspberry Blitz Lightning full node, um, which I think is still the cheapest and uh, um, one of the easiest DIY projects for making your own Lightning full node. Um, so yeah, so without further ado, we're just going to jump straight in. Uh, Staticus had um, uh, uh, he, he, he created the Raspberry Bolt project, which was a, a, a Raspberry Pi uh, Lightning full node. And then Christian Rutzel now has taken that project and has really automated the process. Um, so it's just a case of flashing an SD and then, you know, letting it kind of take care of business for you. There's incredibly comprehensive instructions on the GitHub, which actually look a bit intimidating. There's a lot to do, but really um, uh, there's, there's nothing to do at all. It's, it's incredibly simple. Um, uh, it's just pressing enter and then going away for a few hours, coming back, pressing enter some more. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna build a Raspberry Blitz today. That's the plan. Um, the first thing you'll want to do, um, I mean, this is how comprehensive they are. They've even got shopping lists here for for, for your respective countries. So if you go to UK, for example, there's a whole bunch of uh, Amazon links here for the different modules you need. You can scrimp and save a little bit. So I'm going to be using a 500 gig hard drive. I'm using a 16 gig micro SD um, uh, with the heatsink case. You know, I'm I'm, I'm you know I often build um, uh, Raspberry Pi cases out of uh, Lego. Um, uh, there's a, a, a LCD display. Yeah, you you kind of need that. Um, the power, the three amp power, that's really quite important. So the Raspberry Pi draws uh, three amps, um, whereas your, your regular normal Android charger draws like one to two amps. So uh, the old Samsung charger is actually there. If anyone remembers, they're really good at charging phones. That's because they were putting out three amps. Well, they, they work really well for Raspberry Blitzes, uh, for Raspberry, Raspberry Pis. Um, so if you uh, if you are getting a Raspberry Pi and doing some work on it, then then it's probably worth getting a decent, um, uh, you know, three volt, um, five sorry, th five volt, three amp uh, adapter um, for it. Um, okay, so so yeah, once you've got your components. Um, you'll want to put all your components together, um, which I've just done here. So we've got the LCD case, the box, um, the Pi's in there. You'll need a LAN connection, you've got your hard drive, you've got your power supply, lovely. Um, so if we go to the Blitz here, next thing you'll want to do is download a torrent um, for the uh, SD image. So we're going to download that. It's going to put up transmission for us. Here we go. It's going to say I can't add it because I've already added it. I've already downloaded this. Um, uh, so um, yeah, download really quick as well. It seems to have a fair amount of peers seeding it, which is cool. Um, and then once you've downloaded that, you'll need to extract it. And then um, um, yeah, so once you've extracted it, um, you'll get your, your image file here. Um, and you'll need to write that to your SD card. So you've got your little SD card, you, know, you pop it into your laptop, whatever, your computer. And then um, if we go back to the Raspberry Blitz GitHub here, um, where are we? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so they recommend using the official Raspberry Pi documentation on how to flash um, an SD card. So there's instructions on this page uh, for all your respective um, operating systems. So for example, in Windows, it advises that you use Etcher, which is a really good um, uh, free and open source uh, image writing piece of software. Win32 disk image is pretty good too. Um, and then for Linux, obviously we're a bit backwards, so we like doing everything by the command line. Um, so we need this command here. Um, okay. Uh, now, what's going on with this command? Let's have a little look, shall we, just for those Linuxy people out there. Um, we're going to write a four megabytes and we need to put the image, the file in here. Where's off image? Here it is. Now I'm a big dragger and dropper in terminal. One of this CDing into things. Um, now we need to put the name of the disk we're writing to. So. Um, if I go to disks in Linux, um, I mean, if you go, 
you'll have to Google this to get the name of the, the, the right disc, you know, the SD card or whatever. Oh no, you won't actually, because if you're on Windows, you'll be using Etcher, so you don't need to worry about this nonsense. Um, so, uh, but on, yeah, on Linux I do. Um, it's MMCBLK0, MMCBLK0. So I'm putting that in there. Um, that's it, you know, pretty much, I think. We're saying write this image um, to this drive um, and get to it. Failed, permission denied. Now I will need to sudo in. Sudo, there we are. Now um, this process in Linux, in Windows or Mac, you get a nice little fancy bar, but in Linux we just get a little blinky cursor for an amount of time. So this is where you go away, you have a cup of tea, you go hang out with the family, to the dog for a walk, whatever. Okay, so I went to make myself a cup of tea. Um, let's check to see how we got on with that. Okay, yep, checking on discs on the S uh, SD card there. It's clear that some partitions have been put into it, um, which is great. Uh, so we've got our 500 gig hard drive here called Roger. I've um, I formatted that to EXT4, which is like the Linux file system, so not NTFS um, or FAT. I, I don't think it really matters because I think it formats it on the actual blitz when you run it, but I, I just formatted it to EXT4 anyway, just in case. Um, so I'm just going to... Um, on the camera. I'm just gonna so unplug my SD card now. Um, is my hard drive plugged in? No. So no, it's not plugged into the computer. So I plug my hard drive into the uh, Raspberry Blitz. You need a LAN connection for this. Um, I put my SD card in the back, or so that's into the actual Blitz itself. Got my three amp five volt um, charger. Plug that in. Uh -huh, we've got a little green light there. The green light's good. That means that the um, the Pi has found a um, uh, a bootable image um, and it's able to read the code, which is good. Um, that really didn't take long at all, actually, to, to format that SD card. Um, not format, sorry. Write the uh, the image onto it. Okay, that's the the Raspberry Bolt logo, which is uh, the Blitz is based on. Take a swig of my tea there, sorry. <laughs> right, so it says starting Raspberry Blitz version 1.2. Oh, Christian Rutzel's such a flipping epic legend for, for helping build this thing. And the 38 contributors as well. Hats off to them. Incredible work. Well done, fellas. Um, girls and gals and girls. Um, so it's given us something to SSH into there, which is admin at one, one, uh, 192... Uh, dot 168.1.80 the IP address of the the blitz on my network um, so I'm going to switch back to this camera so SSH oh, sorry sudo SSH admin at 192.168.1.80 put my password in okay there we go uh, do I have to type in yes? Yes, I do. Oh yeah, the password. So sorry, uh, Raspi B L I T Z. That's by Blitz. We're in. Um. Okay. Starting sync bench. I think this is just checking to make sure you know the system's kind of running at, 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 I don't know, safely, I guess. What's the power supply warning? Your power supply is okay, but it could be better for stable operations. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm pretty sure I've got a decent power supply. I just ignore that. Uh, continue, I'll take the risk. Okay, so now we get the option of whether we want to... Um, it should be fine, I mean, it's. Uh, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's like a Raspberry Pi specific uh, charger. Um, so we want on Bitcoin, don't we? We could have on Lightning, obviously. We run Lightning on Lightning, on Lightning, on Litecoin as well. Um, but we're gonna pick Bitcoin, obviously. 
Okay, so name of the new blitz. And it's just telling me I'm going to have to like remember some passwords. So uh, it's asking for a new. So instead of having Raspberry Blitz as the admin password, it wants me to put a password in. Okay. Um, so put a password in, which you're going to remember, obviously, but make sure it's good. So I've set that. That's pretty cool. Um, so this is my RPC password, so this is the password to actually... Ooh. Okay, so that's my RPC, RPC password changed. Good, so it's checking if a hard drive's connected. It's, ah, there we are. So it's asking me if I want to format it. There we are. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Um, yes, I do want to format it. So I didn't need to format it. Does it for me? It's pretty cool. So it's doing. This is just you know autopilot. It's doing everything. I'm not touching the keyboard. Um, it's just giving me a little bit of feedback on what it's doing for me. I guess. Well, my battery's running low. I could like, plug in my laptop now, couldn't I, while I'm waiting for this thing to do its thing. It's doing a whole bunch of things. I didn't do anything. It's double checking for Bitcoin D. So it's making sure the Bitcoin daemon, that's the, um, so it's basically like the software which runs behind the, you know, like the GUI Bitcoin core wallet. Bitcoin D is the software which runs behind it. Now we've got a bunch of options here on how we're going to download the, um, the blockchain. Um, um, we, we're going to use the, the torrent option there, so there's a, 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 a new torrent of the, the blockchain which you can then go through and verify, or you can copy it, um, or you can try just doing a raw sync, but that'll take ages because it's a Raspberry Pi, so it's, it struggles. Um, but you can copy it from hard drive, so you could download it. Um, Pierre Richard's got a good service for, for downloading the, uh, the blockchain, but I mean, if you just the, the torrent's fine um, for us. Um, so it's connecting to the torrent. Just looking for Pierce and Seeds. It started running both the torrents, I think. Here we go. So yeah, so we've got the blockchain torrent and then we've got an update torrent too, which are running side by side. Uh, this is the point where you go away, you have a cup of tea, or you, sorry, you go away, you, you go to bed or you go to work or whatever. Um, and then you leave it for, you know, 24 hours. It depends on your internet connection. Uh, the last time I did this, it did in 12 hours, which I was absolutely blown away by. So. Um, I'll be back first thing tomorrow morning and I'll check to see if it's uh, finished um, downloading the, uh, the torrent for us. Um, uh, you can close this you know, terminal and then, then come back to it when you're um, uh, in your SSH back in, it'll be fine. There we go, brilliant. Both, uh, both the torrents are downloaded. Um, it's just doing a whole bunch of stuff. Again, I'm not pressing anything or typing anything, and it's just uh, it's giving some feedback as to what it's doing. Cleaning, skewing, process skill, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now it's moving files. It's just moving files around. Can take 10 to 60 minutes. So there we are, so I've just logged in. Popped it along its way by, or just logging in, I think. Um, um, go away, you know, watch a movie, come back, yeah, um, yeah. So it was like moving day the last time I checked. Oh. Yeah, continue. Um, excuse the noise behind me, I've got something printing out on a 3D printer. Okay, okay, hard drive's ready. Should go full screen. Playing Bitcoin. Started, wait 10 seconds. Cool, brilliant. Uh, 
there we go so set up a brand new node yes we'll do that please um, so password C this is to unlock my lightning wallet <laughs> pardon me So it's generating my new wallet. Okay, here's my um, here's my my seed. I'm going to do that thing which uh, you should never do. Um, we just take a screenshot. Um, you should write these down on a piece of paper and not do what I'm about to do. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. Yeah, I wrote them down. So it's going to take another minute. There we are. This can take some seconds. So this is really the, the, the power of the Raspberry Blitz project. It just automates everything. And it's quite nice actually it's giving you feedback you know well, as long as you use the um you know advised hard hardware or um then you have no problems whatsoever wow final reboot brilliant i'm gonna press okay it's gonna do a reboot the blitz has rebooted it's doing uh some funkiness right now. Also, it's going to do this for another minute and 15 seconds. I think this is just kind of like a, re a reboot thing just to make sure that there's nothing running. Um, and then once it's rebooted, then I can log back in. Okay, so I'm going to log in with my details. Initial startup, please wait up to five minutes. Okay, so it's not going to take too long, just a few five minutes. Right, so they want me to input my they um, I'm to input my wallet password. Nice. So I've got my lightning wallet, starting up the wallet. Cool. Blockchain progress, 98.26% lightning progress. Um, this can take some time. So this is another one of those moments where you go away and then you come back, you know, in, in a couple of hours or so. Um, so it's just uh, it's just syncing with the, the blockchain to the final sync and it's just syncing with the lightning network too. Okay, so we've got our screen here. This is the, the, the um, Raspberry Blitz screen we've all seen before. I've got a little bit of red going on here. I think that's got something to do with like um, making my Blitz public to the outside world. Uh, currently though, for some of the experimentation I want, um, I don't need to yet make it like publicly accessible. So maybe I'll do like a follow video on that. Um, when we go into the actual terminal thing, uh, we've got our, our info um, option, which if I click on, so I just SSH back into the Blitz. Let me give it a moment. Okay, cool. Then we pretty much get the same screen up as, um, as before. Uh, so we can go back to the main menu by just hitting enter. That takes us back to the main menu. Um, we can uh, fund our on-chain wallet, um, connect to a peer, open a channel with a peer, uh, send an invoice, payment request, receive services, activate, deactivate services, mobile connect a mobile wallet, 
um, export macaroons and TLS certificates that I'd export like all the different macaroons um, so you can like make exterior connections to it. So that's it, I've got my, my fully functional blitz, uh, it's back, this time I'll try not to break it. Um, this is the problem with hacking with stuff is you, you do tend to break things. Uh, building it, it, it doesn't take, it's, it doesn't take a lot of effort, but it takes a lot of time in that you need to be patient because you've got to download the blockchain, you've got to let it sync for the first time. Um, so, so yeah, just be patient, buy the parts, you know, flash the SD, get it in there, make sure you, you try and buy the same parts as, you know, what they recommend on the, on the GitHub because that really helps. Um, and then it's just a case of coming back, you know, logging in, letting it get to the next stage, going away, coming back, and that just takes a few days. But if you give yourself, like, you know, five days or something for it to set, set up um, you'll definitely have it set up and if you've got better internet it'll probably take you a lot less time than that if you're interested in making one then obviously you can make one at home or you can come along to one of the Raspberry Blitz um, hack days which we have so so there's well, the, the lightning hack days uh, there's one in Munich at the end of this month um, and I'll be working on the, the, the Blitz hack desk there's um, I'll be running one in San Francisco Bitcoin conference, I think. Um, if I can just get a confirmation from those guys on that. And I'll also be running uh, a tutorial um, on the, the Raspberry Blitz hack desk at the Transylvanian Crypto Conference and at another uh, Bitbrum here in uh, uh, Birmingham in the, in the UK. Um, and then I'm going to try and try and get to a couple of other conferences to run, run you know, the Raspberry Blitz uh, tutorial. Um, so there we are. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you again. I will do a follow up tutorial probably like showing how to put liquidity on it and set up channels and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, hope to see you again and keep hacking and yeah, cheers.